after the dawning of the space race, humanity continued very little projects into that of space exploration and instead used the majority of funds for continued space research. Due to this new initiative, it became imperative for space agencies to establish permanent space stations in space to help with continuing research projects and plans. This led to the creation of the International Space Station, of which can be used by all nations and governments in a joint effort to further research in all areas. Of course, attempting to understand a brave new frontier comes with it a variety of strange and mysterious circumstances that researchers are still trying to better understand. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over four strange and mysterious incidents from the International Space Station that scientists still have yet to answer. The Water Build-Up Incident Described as one of the most unexplainable circumstances is that of the water build-up incident during a routine spacewalk on the International Space Station. Back in July of 2013, American astronaut Chris Cassidy and Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano were performing a 6 hour and 15 minute planned spacewalk when suddenly Parmitano told the astronaut and the other space agencies that it felt as if the back of his head had suddenly become wet. Understanding the dangers of water buildup on the inside of a suit during a spacewalk, Parmitano quickly tried to address and solve the issue in the hopes of the event not compromising the spacewalk mission that the team had started just an hour prior. Luca Parmitano believed that his drink bag had possibly sprung a leak and was the main cause of the water buildup, and so quickly responded by removing his drink bag to solve the issue. Oddly enough, it appeared that water continued to build up inside the suit that stretched up inside his helmet. The dangers with water in space is that, unlike on Earth, the surface tension of water causes the compound to build up on the side of surfaces and could potentially cover the entire face of the person, preventing them from breathing. The flight's director, David Korth, immediately began to worry after Parmitano claimed that the water buildup had suddenly begun covering his ears, making it next to impossible to hear over the helmet intercom systems. This led to the astronaut being told to find his way back to the airlock door and to enter and stay inside the International Space Station until the cause of the leak could be better understood. This proved to be a problem as the water began covering the eyes of the astronaut and had to tether and find his way back to the airlock while blind. Luckily, the astronauts are already trained in such incidents and are well aware of the ledges and ladders to grab onto and follow to lead them back to the airlock door without trouble. Further investigation into what could have potentially caused the buildup failed to bring about any real answers. The drink bag turned out to not be the cause and engineers failed to find evidence of any of the cooling systems malfunctioning. This sudden appearance of water would go on to never be explained and so would continue to be a mystery involving the International Space Station spacewalk reports. The Sabotage in the Soyuz Probably one of the most frightening things to occur for the astronauts residing in the International Space Station is that of a malfunction in equipment that could slowly lead to the oxygen reserve aboard the station to lose pressure and oxygen into the vast expanse of space. Only recently, this worry became a reality for those aboard the International Space Station. In June of 2018, as the team aboard the International Space Station was still sleeping, they were awoken by the flight director in charge of the International Space Station after being made aware of the loss of air pressure within the main cabins of the station itself. The astronauts were then instructed that the team would have to look around to discover any leakages or holes in the station that could be responsible for the loss of air pressure, insinuating that they believed the air pressure loss to be due to a damaged hull. It was not long before the team uncovered a small hole inside the Soyuz space capsule. The Soyuz capsule is used as a way to transport astronauts from Earth into the International Space Station as the last NASA ISS launch missions ended in 2011, and so now the majority of astronauts will use the superior Russian launching rockets to board and land astronauts on the International Space Station. Interestingly enough, 
It looked as if there had been a purposefully drilled hole in the siding of the Soyuz capsule, of which led to Russian officials believing the ISS incident was a form of sabotage from one of the astronauts. Investigations poured over the entire incident but could find no reliable answer as to how and why the hole formed. It was ruled out that the hole was caused by any form of space debris as the damage was similar to that of a drill bit drilling through the side. This has led officials at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration to believe the incident was nothing more than a faulty manufacturing incident, though the true nature of the event is still a mystery. The Twin Brother Experiment Definitely seen as one of the strangest findings discovered on that of the International Space Station are the tests conducted by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration to better understand the effects of long-term space inhabitation that was given the name of the Twin Brother Experiment. The experiment was referred to as the Twin Brother Experiment due to the fact that NASA scientists sent up an astronaut of whom had a twin brother that they could use as a comparison of information compared to the astronaut brother of whom would be spending close to a year in space. After his time up in space, the astronaut went through a battery of tests to show any kind of differences, degradations or changes in his overall anatomy to help explain the effects of long-term space habitation and prepare for eventual long-term space travel or colonization efforts. After using more than 10 different research teams to conduct experiments on measuring large numbers of metabolites, cytokines, and proteins, the research study found a strange effect that space had on gene expression. The teams found that though 93% of the genome from the brother that was in space returned to normal upon landing back on Earth, there appeared to be changes in more than 7% of his DNA that led to changes in the health of his immune system, DNA repair, bone formation networks, hypoxia, and hypercapnia. This meant that after the one-year mission, the twin was more than affected by the cosmic radiation in space that led to dramatic changes in his gene expression, as well as manifested illnesses in his life. These changes didn't revert back to normalcy, for another six months after landing back on Earth, and leads many to believe that it could very well be possible to have permanent genetic damage due to longer exposure to cosmic radiation, regardless of the shielding of the capsules and the effects zero gravity have on the astronauts aboard the ISS. The Cutting of Live International Space Station Feed Though NASA continues to deny a variety of conspiracy theories surrounding the legitimacy of alien findings and extraterrestrial sightings, it appears there are pieces of evidence of alien life that are so overwhelmingly obvious that NASA has refused to even comment on the subjects. Some examples come straight from that of the continuous live footage of the International Space Station. For those that are unaware, the International Space Station has a variety of cameras to monitor spacewalks and other areas that need to be under 24-hour surveillance. This has allowed the agency to play the live footage on internet shows, websites, live television broadcasting, and so on, to help build up an interest in space, gather footage for people to see, or to even take up watching time on the public broadcasting network for the United States under the NASA administration. Recently, there have been numerous events where footage of strange objects float in the distance that has led many to believe it's extraterrestrial in origin. After such incidents are spotted, the footage will later be removed or edited, the live feed will be cut or the entire incident will be completely ignored by NASA that will often reply that the footage was edited to give the illusion of alien life. Recently, these changes have become so apparent that NASA has admitted that the majority of the live feed broadcasted as being live is actually much older than many people believe. In fact, there have been several proven instances by the BBC of the NASA live footage having been old footage from 2015 played during a 2018 live broadcast. Not only has this helped to build up beliefs by people around the world that there seems to be direct evidence of efforts made to cover up extraterrestrial proof, but it also seems to be direct evidence used by flat earth communities to prove the legitimacy of the flat earth hypothesis. Today, 
This still proves to be a mystery as NASA has refused to comment why live footage is edited, cut or even played on repeat despite being given a live footage broadcast title. But what do you all think of these strange and impossible to explain mysterious incidents that have taken place at the International Space Station? Be sure to let us know what you think by leaving your questions and answers in the comment section below while working to help us to grow this community as we attempt to solve these unexplained mysteries seen and recorded from all around the world. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.